Hello and welcome to the third art talk on this channel. Today I want to talk about art block and creativity, or rather, the lack of creativity. Before I get to the topic, I briefly want to say a few words regarding the painting you're watching in the background. This idea randomly occurred to me while I was browsing Pinterest and I saw a few pictures of woods and there was one picture particularly with a cool nice path in the forest and some nice god rays or sunlight shining in the red onto it and immediately I would see a majestic deer standing there looking at me like imagining I was walking there and I saw this deer in the sunlight and I immediately had this idea and I started working on a rough concept in Photoshop and yeah the concept is what you might see on the iPad next to me in the video but inspiration like that is hard to find for many people if you're an artist or creative person of any kind, musician, writer, whatever it may be, you probably have had this situation where you're sitting down and you really want to be making something, and maybe you even start, but a few minutes into the process you notice that it's not really working out. Like it's the first time you're ever doing that thing. Painting, writing, compositing a new track. Then most of us either restart with a fresh idea, stop completely, or you may stick to it and you almost try to force a good result, but it's exhausting. It takes a lot of energy and you notice that you kinda want to do something else at that point. That my friends is what we call art block. It is our biggest enemy as artists. For many years I have struggled with this regularly and I still do, although not the same way as I used to in the past. Being a professional artist, meaning I have to produce good art every single day, I can't allow myself to get into art block. The ideas need to be flowing constantly and honestly, most people fail to be inspired and motivated all the time. They start taking commissions and they hope to make a living from art, but as soon as you're in that position, art block could literally ruin your career or potentially your life. Because without art, there's no income and without income, well, you can't pay for bills and food, so so how did I overcome art block and how do I manage to inspire it all day long and keep making art every single day? Well, keep listening because it's not that hard actually. So I don't have art block anymore. I do start to feel exhausted of a specific art medium, but my mind is always overflowing with ideas for paintings, artworks and various other projects. I have the opposite problem nowadays, kind of. I don't know how to contain all my ideas and be focused enough to finish projects before I start another one. And how did I do that? Well, all it took was some experimentation and, more importantly, separation. Separation of projects, that is. How I do it is to work on a commission for a longer period and once I feel exhausted, I will switch to another project, which often also means another medium. I will take out my easel and paints and brushes and get one of the ideas from my backlog out on canvas. I may spend a day on it, maybe it ends up being a week, and rarely longer than that because at that point I've been distracted long enough to get back to the project that really needs to be done. I would always have a main project in sight and a bunch of smaller ones that I use as distractions. To keep my artistic mind going, you know. And those distractions may end up being a full painting one of these days or, just, or may stay sketches. I just use them as distractions at that point. And I know this sounds a lot easier than it is though, especially if you're an artist who works only in one medium, well, let's say you do art digitally, then there's no real distraction for you and my approach could be a bit tricky. Because in your case, you're then closing that project file that you're struggling with, opening a new one, and most of the time you still keep thinking about the other things that you have to do. Discovering new art mediums has been a massive game changer for me. Imagine this. As an artist, if you don't draw anything for a month, sometimes you really can't wait to get back into drawing, right? I'm sure you know that feeling, when you're all hyped and finally want to draw again. Imagine getting this feeling every time, but for all the different mediums. Here's an example. The first time I dabbled in alcohol markers, I got hooked and every time I would draw something digitally, I already had an idea in mind for another marker sketch. So I'm doing art, but I'm getting that awesome tingly feeling that I get when I'm not doing art for a while. And if I use markers for a week, I'd have lots of ideas for digital drawings. And now that I'm working with acrylic squash, watercolor markers, digitally, and even 3D printing my own toys nowadays, the ideas are not stopping. 
I don't know where to start. I'm basically hyped all the time. I always feel like doing art. That might also explain to some of you how I can manage to work all the time. Truly like a workaholic because this stuff is addictive once you're in the flow. Now I know many of you will say, but Tom, I want to draw but when I sit down I don't know what to draw. This is also something that I struggle with here and there, but there are ways to overcome it. Keep in mind that as long as you are making something, you are making progress. Making something you usually don't make will help you progress even more. So stay open-minded, if you're into drawing anime characters, try something else for a bit. New things will widen your horizon. The more things you try out, the more ideas you can get. Inspiration is like a pool which can be filled with ideas. If you're only filling it with anime, your possibilities are very limited compared to someone who dabbles in everything and gets inspired by everything. Inspiration can come from everywhere if you're open for it. Sure, you can browse through Instagram and get inspired by other artists, but me personally, I get inspired by the simplest things. If I see something I like, I will start thinking, how can I portray my feelings about this on an artwork? I see sun shining between a few trees and I immediately can see a majestic deer looking towards me. I did end up changing quite a few things about the picture, but only because I was inspired, I'm not copying it one by one. Be creative, try to make the best out of the scene, add a story to it. How can you imagine the picture more interesting? This is how you start the creative process, how you train your brain to be more creative. If you're just looking at images and then copying it one by one, you are making art and it may look awesome, but the creative process was done by someone else in this case, or at least the majority was. I do creative exercises quite a lot, and I don't even know if this is a common thing to be honest, it's just something I started doing one day because I loved it so much. Um, What I would do is, whenever I see something that looks interesting, let's say an interesting pattern somewhere, I try to envision an arc with that and what kind of artwork would look good with it. Sometimes I even take pictures if I really like it, of someone's jacket or whatever I see that pattern. Or if I see a beautiful sky, I take a picture and imagine a scene with that sky. Maybe a sea with an island in the distance, or a mountain scene with a few goats on it. I try to think of something that would be amazing and even better if it's something I usually haven't done yet. Forcing myself to think of something new and not always falling back on the same ideas. I see creativity as a muscle. The more you train it, the stronger it gets, and as long as your pool of inspirations is full enough, you'll have a much easier time thinking of ideas. And as long as you're not burning yourself out with projects and start running into the wall with your alt block, make sure you pull the brake and take the exit soon enough so you can work on other projects that will still keep you on your path to mastery, but will give you enough of a break to not burn out and come to a full stop, which you can't afford. So. Always make sure you're working on something, even if it's just a sketch, even if it's a little painting, if it's just some creative training, like looking at things and imagining stuff. This is what I do. And don't want to keep this video any longer. I think you have an idea of how it works. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments or DM me or write me on Discord. Check out the link in the description for the Discord server and I'm happy to help you out. Stay awesome, guys. and. I wish you a wonderful time and great new year. I know it's a little bit late for that, but I still hope you have a great year this year. And may all your artistic goals be fulfilled. So thank you everybody for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe. Peace out.